This is very clear in the story of short sleep and obesity and diabetes, that there are certain mechanisms triggered by uh, sleep deprivation that will lead to these conditions. Um, short sleep activates a couple of hormones in our body called ghrelin and leptin. The leptin is a hormone produced by the fat cells and ghrelin is a hormone produced by the stomach. And these two hormones move in a, a seesaw mechanism. So when one goes up, the other goes down. When we are uh, full, we have eaten a lot, we have hormones that move in a way that shut down their hunger. So we stop eating. On the other hand, we are, when we are hungry, it's because these hormones perceive that we have lack of uh, calories and energy and the stomach is empty. So they stimulate our brain to increase our appetite. That's normal. Works every day. What sleep deprivation does triggers these hormones towards an increase in appetite. So we tend to eat more and to consume less energy or to perceive the energy less so that eventually this will lead to an accumulation of energy and eventually to obesity. Now this also a mechanism that will lead to what we call insulin resistance. For those who know a bit of signs, when we eat sugar, uh, we have glucose, which is the energy source, that has to get into the cell to give us the energy to produce. Now, this glucose goes into, which is a sugar, goes into our cells thanks to a hormone that facilitates that entry. It's called insulin. And insulin is produced by a, an organ called the pancreas. Now, that insulin is necessary for the glucose to go into the cell and provide the energy. If the cell becomes insulin resistant, in other words, if the cell doesn't respond to the stimulus of insulin, the glucose doesn't go into the cell, stays around the body and causes diabetes. Right? So that is stimulated and facilitated by sleep deprivation. So when we studied in the long term, we found that sh short sleep led to incidence of diabetes, or the cause of new case of diabetes, we now have a mechanism that explains very well how that builds up over the years. There's also high blood pressure caused, and when you have obesity, high blood pressure, and diabetes, there's no surprise that when we look at the cardiovascular disease, that the short sleepers have a greater chance of dying of heart attacks and strokes. There are also other subtle mechanisms. There is an increase in inflammation, with short sleep, inflammation is activation of a number of chemical compounds in our circulation which some harm the blood vessels to create atherosclerosis, which is the underlying uh, cause of heart attacks. And uh, coronary calcification has been found also in the bigger arteries, which will impair the ability of the heart to pump effectively blood at the beginning of the big arteries than contributing to heart disease. So all these compositional mechanisms tell us a big story on how we can explain the findings in populations.